What's up there campers? It's AJ with Outdoors Podcast. We got a new tent. It's a Nemo Dagger Osmo 2P. We're gonna do a full walk around and show you why we chose it. Let's get into it. Guys, if this is your first time checking out Outdoors Podcast, my name's AJ. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. I do videos about backpacking and fly fishing and camping, living in your RV full time and traveling the country and all kinds of other outdoor related videos. Talk about gear, talk about adventures. I bring friends and uh, people in the outdoor industry onto my podcast and talk to them about their lives in the outdoors and what got them interested in it. So if any of that stuff sounds interesting or exciting, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel and I would greatly appreciate you checking out a lot of the rest of the content. So let's get right into checking out this tent. So for any of you that have been following this channel for quite some time, you'll know that for maybe the last close to a decade or so, I've really been a pretty dedicated hammock camper. Uh, well, as Sarah and I have been exploring more and more of the Western United States, as you can tell, trees are not super abundant all the different places that we go so having a tent or a couple of tents really became more of a necessity as we start to get more back into backpacking now we've been living in this rv full-time for quite uh, about 10 months now uh, but the idea of doing some backpacking when we're in colorado this summer sounded really really good so we started making some small investments in some really high quality gear i expect to have this tent for the next five to ten years so we did kind of splurge a little bit and go for a little bit more of an expensive product than we would normally buy. This is really top of the line, and I'm gonna to explain to you why I went with this tent over all of the others that were available because we could have basically bought just about any tent out there, and this is the one we chose. So the majority of the backpacking that Sarah and I plan on doing was going to involve our dogs, and that includes a 100-pound uh, chocolate lab as well as a 50-pound-ish Australian Shepherd chocolate lab mix. And so that means that we have to have enough room for, you know, myself who's five foot nine, call it close to 200 pounds. My wife who's five foot two, dare not say what she weighs, uh, as well as, uh, you know, our dogs. And so we've got to have enough room. And really what that boiled down to is a couple of two person tents because a four person backpacking tent just isn't really practical. It takes up a ton of room in the backpacks. So a couple of backpacking tents, uh, two person tents really became the option or really the answer. And I wanted one trekking pole tent that I could use personally and go out and keep my weight really, really light. So I chose uh, the Durston XMID 2. And I'm really, really excited, really, really pleased with that tent so far. But I also wanted a freestanding tent. And what a freestanding tent means is that all of the poles themselves just hold the tent up. You don't actually need any of these stakes around the outside for this tent to stand and to kind of basically function on its own. Now, obviously, the stakes help spread things out and keep it stable. It helps the wind from blowing it away all of that kind of stuff. But basically in the bag, you have everything you need for this tent to work. And I'm gonna put the weight down in the description. I can't remember exactly what it is, but you can see the weight here on the screen. It's very lightweight and it really comes down to the materials that they chose and kind of how they structured this tent. So let's go ahead and jump inside and I'll show you a little bit more because quite frankly, that's what you're interested in, right? That's where we live in a tent. Okay, so there's your main entrance. And that may look kind of small, like you'd have to crawl through there, but the beauty is we can take this one foot off, leave that stake in place, and then we can roll this back. And then you've got this huge wide open door. And then as you can see, we'll come around the other side of the tent. So I've got this pole in the way. But you can roll both doors back. I can take that other door off or kind of loose from the stake. And then you just get this really nice wide open kind of feel. And this morning when I woke up, I got in, I was just sitting in here and had this great open feel 
right from side to side really just opens it up i can see everything out and about and it's just fantastic if you want these doors come free and you've got a double zipper system so you've got one up high and one down low and the reason that you really want this versus one big kind of uh d type door is or d-shaped door is that you can really do this one-handed super easily and then the fact that these doors pin back like that really out of the way super super nice the interior absolutely fantastic quality all of the seams are taped really really nicely as you can see they've got a lot of pockets there's two pockets one in each corner and then you've got these diffusing headlight pockets up here there's all kinds of little attachment points for hanging things this is a super convenient one because it's got a little snap on it so if you've got something that's closed like this not a carabiner you can snap it on there I think there's some other accessories that go across here, like a drying line that you could run from edge to edge. Uh, same thing on the other side of the tent. Now this tent is 90 inches long and it's 50 inches wide at both ends. And the reason that's really important, as many of you know, these new sleeping pads, the wide ones are super popular, the 25 inch pads. And if you don't have a 50 inch wide um tent at both ends then you're gonna struggle to get two 50 inch pads in here and we wanted this to be a tent that we could use with sarah and i going out on our own if we didn't have the dogs we could just bring this tent and both of us could sleep in here comfortably there's enough room and then one of these really cool features we're gonna have to get another one of these uh they call this the landing zone and they just basically give you a small tub or basin that's got some walls on it clips in in various places you can unclip this and remove it if you don't want to use it super easy but it just gives you another dry place outside the normal what you know you could call a vestibule to put some gear you can put stuff sacks or you can put your backpack you can put any kind of jackets or anything out there that you just didn't want to have kind of right in here in the immediate size of the tent um, as you can tell with a 25 inch pad that's probably a wild horse out there um, really, really a ton of room. So if you were using this as a one person, which I do plan on doing a little bit of, you can see you've just got all kinds of room. If you push this 25 inch pad over, I mean, you've just got all kinds of real estate to do activities. It was also super easy this morning to come right outside this door. If you've got these vestibules rolled back, or if you had them open like this to just lean out, I had my little stove out here. I made some coffee this morning, super easy to keep it away from the tent and protect the materials. Cause these are, uh, you know, a, a pretty fire, um, non-resistant material this will get burned up real bad easily um so you want to keep all that stuff away so i was able to just lay here in bed super comfortably and you know just be doing all my activities outside i had plenty of room and it all worked out really really nicely and i'm really really glad that we've got this tent this was a great choice i did choose this over a couple of other options now the hornet also made by nemo is a semi freestanding tent it does require a couple of stakes to use the tent and I really wanted something that was freestanding so we chose this over the Hornet uh, show brothers that's why I chose this one instead of of the uh, semi freestanding I know that one's a little bit lighter and probably has a slightly smaller footprint but uh, we chose that and then the Telos I think the Sea to Summit Telos is a really interesting tent although I'm just not sold on the idea that there should be a hole in the top of your tent I know it does a lot for ventilation but God, something in me just says that in some inclement weather, you're gonna get rain in there and that's just not cool with me. I'm a big, big fan on staying dry. So I'm super pumped that we bought this tent. I think we're gonna get a ton of use out of it. I think it's also gonna be great for just car camping because it does have a relatively small footprint. And so if I wanted to go car camping with some friends, this would be great to just bring as my little personal spot, especially if it wasn't gonna rain, you can see this thing tucks up pretty small. Uh, if you've got those vestibules tucked back and then my goodness do you have quite the stargazing experience if you leave the fly off altogether the poles are one big integrated piece so you can kind of see you've got some hubs here and then there's a center pole that goes out and connects but all of that stays in one piece so you're not going to lose anything it comes with some stakes i replace them as you know pretty much everybody does with msr groundhogs and uh, I'm just really, really pumped about this tent, guys. I think this is gonna be a huge addition to our uh, overall gear collection. 
and I'm super pumped to be putting some miles on this thing. I think we're going to be doing some really comfortable sleeping in the backwoods. If you've got any questions about this tent, I am not super versed in it just yet. Uh, obviously, I haven't done all the tie outs and things like that. I've got one night in it so far, so feel free to ask your questions. I will tell you this tent was uh, in the $400 range the way we bought it. We got some discounts and signed up for some email lists and things like that and was able to get a small discount. So this tent was down in the $400 range, but typically it's in the low $500 range. So, you know, a little bit of sticker shock. I'll just let you know, it is a very expensive tent and that's why I plan on using it for quite some time. This is not gonna be one of those things uh, that we just kind of toss off to the side. This is a big investment. We took it really, really seriously. I waited several months and did a lot of research looked at a lot of tents. And one of the things that I did really, really appreciate, we went to a new store that many of you may know exists called Public Lands. Uh, it's through the Dick Sporting Goods franchise. Normally I'm a big fan of like, you know, smaller companies buying local, places like the Alpine Shop in St. Louis, I'm a huge fan of. Um, but one of the things that made it really nice is they've got just about every tent that you could possibly imagine in stock. And you can even take them out and put them all together. They've got, uh, you know, this kind of board inside that allows you to build tents in the store. And so we were able to sit in this thing, spend some time in it, talk about it, what it would be like for the dogs and, and really feel good that we were buying the right tent before we made our choice. So that was a big, big advantage. Uh, obviously I'm a big fan of, of buying local and shopping with smaller retailers if you can but it was a really, really nice factor uh, to be able to kind of test things out and try it. So uh, just a, a quick shout out, Public Lands, you did a nice job and, and the folks in the store were knowledgeable and helped us out. So, uh, you know, just throw that out there for any of you that are thinking about buying a new tent. Could be an option for you. Uh, the other equipment that I do have in there, just as kind of one last little visit here, uh, some of the other things that we were testing out last night, this is a big Agnes. Um, Rapide SL, so that's the 25 inch 72 long, so that's the standard wide. And I'm a huge fan of that pad, sleep super comfortable, really, really enjoy it. Uh, my sleeping bag is a Sierra Designs backcountry bed, that's the 28 degree version. It's a super old sleeping bag, probably, I don't know, eight ish years old or something like that. Still love it. Um, and then my backpack over there is a ULA Ohm 2.0. Love that backpack, super light. I think it's under two pounds the way I have it rigged up and uh, carries, I don't know, 25, 30 pounds super comfortably. And I've got it, you know, my base weight's probably in the 15, 16 pound range. So in that range, it really, really performs. And that's kind of the gist of my shelter. That's a Thermarest pillow. I've got a Nemo pillow underneath it. I use both in combination. And then I've got an Exped pillow somewhere in there. Uh, I actually bring three pillows backpacking now. That's the way I get comfortable. So uh, do what you guys do. Find out what's comfortable for you. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, press that subscribe button. Send me a like. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. And if there's a pet out there that I should have bought instead of this one, let me know. I'm not going to change my mind, but I'd love to hear from you. See you guys.